G'day guys, how are you? I'm Esky, <laughs> welcome to my YouTube video. This is a really, really fast one actually. Look what I just found at the dump, check this out. I found some home cinema, home theatre in wall speakers. And I've read about these brand, this brand, they're called Jensen. I know they're, they're supposed to be like a more affordable type of home theatre brand, but I remember reading about these and everyone raved about them. They said that they sounded really, really good. So what I think I've got here is like a left and a right, and a, that must be the centre speaker. These were in a bin, someone chucked them in a bin, and um, I was pulling them out. I pulled these three out, and then I found these ceiling speakers for Atmos. How good is that? Look at that. They've got like a bass and a treble control. And um, yeah, so there were three Atmos speakers and I'm like, oh, where's the fourth one? There's gotta be a fourth one. And I couldn't find a fourth one. So here's the other one. So yeah, I'm gonna, at least I found the, um, I got this mesh cover as well. Not that I really will use that. I'm not sure if I'd use that, but I can paint all of that stuff black. But um, that's pretty cool find. I mean, honestly, Remember how I found those Yamaha speakers last year? I found, you know, a couple of boxes of Yamaha speakers that I've been using for my side speakers, you know, just roughly while I watch movies. I mean, they're really nice speakers, right? If these speakers here sound as good as those, I'll be happy with that. I'll be stoked with that because, yeah, they sound fantastic. But um, it's so cool that I can actually try these out and try before you buy. How cool is that? Um, thank you to whoever threw those out. I will use them and think of you. So, <laughs> awesome. So the deal is, they're pretty wet. They're pretty wet because they were in that bin. I'm going to quickly go down and dry them off with a, a, a towel or something. And then I'm just going to let them sit for a day, 24 hours, and then I'll turn them on. Might even get the, the hair dryer to the back of this circuit board here. Alright, so let's try these out. Um, let me just dry them out first and then I'll go and set them up. All right, let's just set you up here. I am just going to wipe these down first. <laughs> How cool is this? Oh, I love it. Man, it, it rained really hard. It was raining really hard before I got there. I mean, these aren't paper cones. These are the, the plastic or rubber ones, so that's a good thing. I mean, with these Atmos speakers, I really wanted the ones that angle from the ceiling. But, um, I mean, if these sound good, what I was even thinking of doing was maybe trying to design something and 3D printing it, like some kind of enclosure that ang could angle the speaker. I reckon that would work. But, um, yeah, that's so cool. I wonder how much all of this stuff costs. I'm going to have to jump online and suss that out. I'm, s I'm so dirty. I'm so hot and messy. <laughs> I've actually just been racing around one of the dumps that I go to. Oh man, this is a really cool score. Yeah, I'm just... they look really nice. I'll, I'll show you in a bit. So that one is kind of... That's good enough. I might pull out the um, the hair dryer and just kind of <laughs> give it a bit of a um, bit of attention. You don't want to use a heat gun. Never use a heat gun. But clothes dryer, uh, not clothes dryer. A um, a hair dryer um, should be fine. Yeah, I mean, geez, they're heavy. So these ceiling ones are 110 watts. It says 110 explosive home theatre EHT2. Awesome. I will be jumping on their website very soon. Like I said, I I kind of um did look at these a while ago and I was really, really tempted. But um then I was thinking, oh I was gonna get a brand called Earthquake. I I think they're called Earthquake. I was thinking about getting some Earthquakes because I saw quite a few people raving about those. Don't know how I'm going to mount these. Yeah, like I said, I might even 3D print something to um, angle them so that they can be angled to the listening position. Oh. 
it's night time now. I wish it was sunny out. <laughs> I wish these stickers went all fugly. 110 watts. I mean, I'm so tempted. I just I wouldn't mind putting the call out on some you know my Facebook group to see who's got them, what they think. But you just know you're going to get some smart ass who says, "Oh, mate, they're not cricks or they're not clips or freaking hell, piss off, mate." It just yeah, it's crazy. You know, I've had so many people who are just so interested in my you know what I'm doing with my cinema and um, they love my renderings and all of that and they can see the progress and they think it's awesome but then they ask what kind of speakers are you using and what kind of gear are you using and you say well I've got my speakers they came from the dump and all of a sudden it's not like you're worthy to talk to them they just say oh good on you mate no worries good luck with it and they piss off and it's like all right I don't care <laughs> I'm just bitching. Oh man, look at this. Man, that's some pretty heavy duty cable. What's that? Would that be 14 gauge, I reckon? Man, I wonder why you'd throw them out. I'd I wouldn't throw them out. I'd sell them. I mean, we just had some serious floods. I wonder if that had anything to do with it. There's a lot of stuff at the tip at the moment. People are just like getting rid of as much stuff as they can. Oh, maybe that's what people are doing. That's what people are doing, actually. They're, they're just riding off everything, even though it may not have been damaged. <laughs> because there's so many, you know, flooding victims. They're not even sending out. Oh, look how much water's on this one. They're not even sending out insurance assessors. They're just saying, just tell us what you want. Wow, this one got really wet. I mean, this has got a treble and a bass volume. I thought they had just a normal volume. So what's the deal there? I, th I like the idea of being able to change the, the volume of them. Like, I don't know, are these just meant to be front of house speakers, like your left and rights? Because I was going to use this as, um, I was thinking about using these for my um, side speakers. We'll have a look at some of the reviews and see what people are using them for. <coughs> if anything, at least I've got some... <laughs> I can mess around with them, you know. It's, it's, it's great just playing with stuff. Wow. Wow. I am going to turn these over actually. Now what I've noticed is um, some of these, see this one has them all. Oh, it's, it's missing, no it's got them all. So I don't know how these actually work. I don't know how these actually work, but I'm going to, actually it wouldn't be hard to work it out. So there's, I just noticed there's a bunch of these things missing from the speakers. I don't know if you can get them. But um, I think each speaker has enough to actually insert them into the wall, like one in each corner. I'm not sure about the sides. I mean, I don't plan on using that centre speaker. If there's any on there, I might be able to use those. But um, yeah, in all the uh, Atmos speakers, they're all present. So not sure how I'm going to mount them anyway. I don't know if I'd use those. But um, cool, I'll keep going. just want to get these nice and dry as dry as I can. I may even put a fan on them actually. Yeah, that's what I might do. Forget about the whole, um, forget about the whole um, hair dryer. Just get a normal fan, blow some air on them. Just sent a mate of mine a, te a text with photos. <laughs> He's my only friend that I've got as far as home theatre stuff is 
concerned. I've got another mate, a couple of mates, but they're kind of in a state. Never see them. He's a Kevin. He he loaned me the um his projector, the sixty fifty UB. I mean, yeah, that's looking nice. Man, I'm glad they're not paper cones. Don't they do paper cones anymore? Am I just really old or something? Because when I was a kid, they just used to all be paper. It's fun coming home with new toys. I mean, seriously, I get, I get this kind of, I get a real buzz out of it, a real high, you know. It's like I've actually gone out and bought them. It means just as much to me. I, I, yeah, I find it more satisfying, I think, when I find them. Especially, I find it more satisfying finding stuff rather than buying it used, that's for sure. Because you feel like you've saved something as well, but it feels like it's yours. It was meant to be. <laughs> it sounds weird. Yeah, it's it's funny. I'm just really lucky that the none of them are busted. I mean, the bin that I pulled them out of, it was actually pretty shallow. It's not like it was full, so they literally, they wouldn't have placed them, they would have thrown them. And none of them seemed to be broken. I think the Atmos speakers had, probably had the, um, the mesh, the wire mesh covers on them. So that would have helped protect them. But I think only, for, actually no, I found one with that on. Maybe they fell off after they impacted, but I got really lucky because none of the um, circuitry on the back seems to be broken. I've been looking at that. I think, um... Once again, I dodged a bullet. Even this Atmos speaker has controls on it, a treble plus and a treble minus and a bass plus and a bass minus. That's really weird. Well, for me anyway, I don't know why. Like, I've been doing research on the side speakers and they all seem to have like a 3 dB kind of volume reduction. But these don't have that. These have bass and treble. <laughs> have I done this one? Mm, no, I don't know. Even if, I mean, these are 8-inch speakers, even if these speakers kind of do me over for a little while, at least, I'm hoping that they just fit in the same kind of cutout, whatever speakers, like the, I was thinking about, like I said, getting earthquake speakers. If these are the same kind of cutout, I might just be able to use these for a while and see what they're like, and use the same hole if I decide to change to earthquakes or something. But I'm pretty sure those earthquakes don't have the angled speaker either. They've got angled tweeters. In fact, can you angle these tweeters? No, I don't think you can. Well, maybe you can. No, I don't think you can. I'll have to do some research on that. Done this one. <laughs> There's more water coming out when I shake it though.
Right, there you go, my new in-wall speakers. We have two left and rights, um, and they are 140 watts, as well as that center speaker. That's 140 watts. And we have three, weirdly, I don't know why there's only three, um, Atmos speakers. Um, ceiling speakers and they are 110 watts. So that's awesome. I'm pretty happy with that as long as those I'm hoping like I keep saying I hope these two um, Front speakers can be used for as side speakers. I mean, this is what I'm using at the moment These are the Yamaha's that I found Remember I just mentioned that before I found two boxes They had the manuals and everything in the boxes and um, I couldn't believe it. They're just gorgeous. And I love the sound of them. They sound fantastic. I mean, if I don't care what speakers, you know, how cheap they are. If they sound good to me, that's all that matters. So you can see another one over there. I mean, I need the speakers to also fit into this diffuser, audio diffuser. You can see that diamond shape at the wall there. I'll be building that and I need them to fit inside there. And you can see some more up here. These are the other two that I found with the fronts on. So if they work out, if they sound good, I will actually buy two more. And yeah, that'll be a nice cheap setup. I mean, I don't mind spending money. I've got heaps of money. I just, why spend it if you don't need to? All right, so anyway, so any. <laughs> The deal is, I'm just going to give this until tomorrow, so it's night time now. Um, I'll wait for tomorrow, I'll let them dry out in the sun, and then tomorrow night we'll plug them in and see how they sound. Hopefully they'll sound pretty good. Okay, well, we're back, and unfortunately, unfortunately, um, it's been three weeks since I dried those speakers out, and a lot has happened in that time. Um, yeah, so the thing is, um, I can't just grab my camera now and walk you around my cinema, because I have some sensitive equipment in here that I found at the dump, or at e-waste facilities, I should say, um, and two of these things cost $100,000. And I found them and I've been making videos on them and if I walk around you'll see them and it'll give my future videos away so what I'm gonna do is just concentrate on this speaker here I'm just gonna pull the wire out of the back listen all I want to know is that it doesn't have any crackling um, and that you can hear sound come out and uh, then I know the speakers are good but what I will say is one of these speakers this side surround speaker here I have actually plug that in and I've been listening to one of the speakers for the last three weeks and uh, what did I say um, I said that if it sounds as good as the Yamaha these that one there and the one that's on the other side then I'd be sold well I think it sounds better than the Yamaha to be honest with you I think it's got a lot to do with it's got an 8 inch you know driver on it whereas the Yamaha's have a 6.5 I think they're 6.5 um, but yeah, I'm really impressed with the sound quality that was coming out of this thing. So yeah, that's really cool. Um, but the cool part is I've been able to sit in the center, watch a movie because I've had the other speaker, you know, the Yamaha still hooked up. So I've got one Yamaha there. I've got the Jensen here and I can hear them. It's a really good way of, um, testing it out. And I'm really stoked with how these sound. So that's a cool thing. So one thing that I can show you just quickly, um, is last night. Look what I found. I found this. This is a Yamaha receiver as well. Um, but this Yamaha receiver 
is a Dolby Atmos Yamaha receiver. It does Dolby Vision and does all of this latest and greatest stuff, as well as all your gimmicky stuff. It connects to Wi-Fi and yada, yada, yada. Uh, this is the one that I'm currently using. It's an RX-V1900. I've been using that for the past 12 months. It's been great. I haven't needed Atmos. In fact, I've never ever heard Atmos before. But the cool part is, because this one down here does Atmos, then it's quite possible that I can hook them up to these Atmos speakers, at least two of them, and have a listen and see what I think. Or can I? Because the thing is, I found this receiver last night. Um, I'm making a video at the moment. Does it work or not? Um, I can tell you that I've plugged it in, and it looks like it's going to work. But you don't know until you plug in a source, as well as... Um, as well as speakers. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. In a couple of weeks, hopefully I'll have that video out. So please subscribe if you want to see how that goes. And please subscribe if you want to see what these, you know, $100,000 pieces of equipment that I've got, you know, are and, and how they go. I'm making videos at the moment. It's kind of exciting. But, um, but for now, I'm just going to kind of set you up. Oh, listen, this video is going too long. I'm just going to quickly one by one, do a speed lapse, you know, time lapse it and just listen for sound as I um, plug it in there. I'm just going to play something on the TV and that's hooked up to this receiver and just see if I can hear these things working and then I'll come back and give you my thoughts. All right. Okay, so I'll show you what I've done. I've got my <laughs> remote mouse here that's going to, um, that's connected to my HTPC in my bedroom and this TV here um, is just going to play our picture. So this, what I'm going to play now is just one of my videos on YouTube of me building my side section, where my arcade machines are going and my equipment rack and so forth. So that's what I'm going to be playing so I don't get copyrighted for anything. But um, for now, what I might start doing is I'm just going to disconnect that speaker and just plug each of these speakers in one by one. So let's just maybe hit play here. Let's just tap this. There we go. Alright, let's uh, turn it down. Okay. Start with this one. Okay. Sounds good. Next. Thank you. 
Sounds good. Last one.
good. Well, there you go. <laughs> they all work. And apologies, I didn't do the time lapse. It didn't. It was, it was pointless doing a time lapse because, man, it's just pulling speaker wires out and plugging speakers in. And took no time at all. The thing is, they all work. Apart, it looked like um, this particular Atmos speaker wasn't going to work. I didn't think that was going to work. All I was getting was the tweeter. The driver wasn't working. So I flipped it over. And I discovered one of these wires was kind of, the, I just had to push it back on the terminal, came back to life. So got lucky. It's a cool thing. So they all work. It's, it's, it's awesome. Everything works. But um, what does that mean? Uh, am I going to use these in my cinema? Well, no, I'm not. And it's not because they're Jensen. It's not because they don't sound good. They sound great. Um, it's not because I found them at the dump. Everything in here, including my front speakers, are from the dump. It's mainly because I don't have enough. Um, I need six surround speakers. I only have two. I have um, three Atmos speakers. I need four. They're not the right Atmos speakers anyway. I want eight inch Atmos speakers. These are only 6.5s. Um, and they're all older models. Nothing wrong with that, but it's not like I can ring up and say, can I get another um, four speakers to go with my surround speakers. They don't make them anymore. I'm sure I could hang out and find something on Marketplace, but I couldn't be bothered doing all of it. Listen, I'm going to a lot of trouble in here. I've decided I'm just gonna splurge and buy new my surround speakers and my Atmos speakers. It'd be nice for once to actually get something that I can open up packaging and all of that kind of goodness. And you know, that's brand new. <laughs> hey, listen. If I find something, if I actually find four in, six in walls and four Atmos, and I'm happy with them at the dump, if I find them, I will definitely use them, but I can't ever see that happening. So I'm going back to my original plan and I'm gonna buy them. Hey, I might buy the Jensen's after all. Some of their new stuff looks amazing, um, but I might buy the, um, uh, what is it? Um, Earthquakes, and there's another brand or two brands that I could be looking at, but um, yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, so I'll lock it. Th I'll lock that in later. But for now, tomorrow I will be finishing the video for this Atmos receiver, the Yamaha. Um, I'll be checking it out. If it does work, I will start on the next video, and that is using a couple of these Jensen's. I'm going to hook them up. I'm going to hear what all this Atmos commotion. There's a lot of hype on this Atmos. I've never experienced it. All you see on these Facebook groups is. Atmos this, Atmos that, so I can't wait to experience it and I'll film it and tell you what I think. So yeah, cool. But um, not just that, remember I've got this couple of things that I found worth about $45,000 each. I'll be la launching those videos very soon as well. So please look out for those. But um, anyway, that's it. I'm Eski. I'd like to say thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.